Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be talking about LED lighting and I am going to show you my installation of 18 KC Highlights Cyclone LED lights. <laughs> channel my name is Casey and this is my Jeep and today I'm gonna to take you around and show you the installations that I have done using these Casey Highlights Cyclone LED lights so I've gone with the clear version of the Casey Cyclones for my Jeep I went for performance and general brightness of illumination when I'm off-roading they do make a variety of colors so if you're looking to add some style to your Jeep, you could look at any of their other versions. They have uh, green, blue, red, pink, I believe they have now. Um, but for me, I prefer the clear. Um, they offer the most brightness and clarity and I'm using them for off-roading. I wanna see the best that I can when I'm on the trail. They can be used for rock lights, reverse lighting, interior lighting, or under the engine bay. I've also done a custom setup where I use these four front turn signals and running lights. Now that installation was a little bit complicated. I will show you what the end result looks like today, but I'm gonna do a completely separate video on that and show you exactly how to wire those up as well as the custom mounts that I had to make for those. Let's do a walk around of the Jeep and I will show you guys all of my installations. So before we get started walking around the Jeep, let's take a closer look at the Cyclone. Once out of the package, the Cyclone comes with a uh, connector here that you can wire with bare wires on one side. You just pull these little guys off and then you have a bare connection. And then it has uh, weather resistant bullet connectors on this side. This allows you to run all your wiring ahead of time and you just connect your pigtails here with the bullet connectors and then finish your installation by bolting up your Cyclone and connecting the bullet connectors into the pigtail that you've installed into the wiring. So these are very durable, robust lights. I've had mine underneath the Jeep, both inside the rock sliders bolted to the frame and I haven't had any issues with damaging them. They have a some kind of Lexan or polycarbonate cover protecting the LEDs inside. There's 12 individual LEDs underneath and then a very solid frame in the rear. So the lights themselves are about two inches across and I believe the hole in the middle is about half an inch. And so you can fit quite a hefty bolt through here. Um, if you're using something like the magnets that come with a smaller bolt, I use some washers just to fill up the space, but this is a fairly large bolt and just goes right through the middle and you can put some nuts and washers on the other side. The Cyclones, they come in uh, single packs like the one I have here, which is a great way if you're doing a full customized job. They do sell the rock lights in a kit, which includes wiring and switches, which works really well if your Jeep is more stock or you're wanting to use the locations that they set out in their directions. With a highly customized job, I would just order the single packs of these and then I would make my own wiring harnesses. So the first one that I'm gonna show you are my cyclones that I'm using to illuminate the front of my tires on my Jeep. You can see this one here is on the front bumper and that gives me really good lighting in front of the tire area when I'm off-roading. Now, I didn't wanna drill out my bumper here. So what I've done is I've purchased some high strength magnets and I've just bolted them on to the cyclone. You can see and then there you go and that stays completely attached to the bumper and there's no need to modify your bumper. I got these magnets for about five bucks for a pack of them on Amazon. They're rated to 30 pounds. I've never had an issue of these getting ripped off on any of the trails. So this is a one, one interesting way that if you don't have a mounting location that you want to put one of your cyclones, 
you can go get these, I believe they're two inch magnets. And I've just sprayed the outside of this one with some bed liner so that it blends in a bit. And there you go. You can pretty much put a cyclone anywhere. The next cyclone that I'll show you are the ones that I'm using for my front turn signals. So I have replaced the OEM turn signals here with a customized solution that I made out of some amber cyclones. I will do another video on how to do the wiring for these because I think that would take an entire video itself. It is a bit complex using some diodes, resistors, and load resistors in order to get this to come on with your running lights as well as your turn signals and not show you any code saying you have a burnt out bulb. And I've made a custom plate for behind it, you can see here, and color match that to my Jeep. So that is another way you can mount them to a plate and then you can mount that plate in there. I've had to do a bit of uh, interesting fabrication behind that to hold that plate in place. But there's another good idea for cyclones. This next location I'm going to show you, I have mounted cyclones to illuminate this area here. I like to have some light so that I can see into this space behind my tires on the front tires and you can see the cyclone here mounted inside my fenders. So I do have steel fenders which allows for a nice mounting location and this one here we have bolted on to the, uh, the fender. There's a piece here on the Evo fenders that makes for a good mounting location and then I've tucked the wire up and under behind the fender here into where I have the uh, distribution panel for the powering of these. So this provides really good illumination for my tires which is an important feature I find when I'm off-roading. You can have a look that's basically the area would be lighting there and with this I've just bolted them on. This next location, the cyclone is bolted to my rock slider here. This is facing rearwards. And what I use these for are reversing. I have them tied into my reverse switch. So when I put my Jeep into reverse, it illuminates behind me. And it also really illuminates the rear tire a lot and this space behind the Jeep. So the why I like these here are both when I'm reversing either on the road, in a parking lot, I can see really well where my rear tire and fender are, as well as when I'm on the trail and I may be hooking a rock or a tree, I have really good visibility to exactly where my tire and fender are. And so these ones are casting a bit of a, a light array to the rearward of the Jeep. The next cyclones I'm gonna show you are in mounted inside of my sliders. I'll put a picture up of the mount that I made, but basically these have a horseshoe over top of them with a couple magnets holding them down onto the rock sliders. I've had these ones here for almost a year and a half and I've never damaged them. So I have one in the front and one in the rear. They provide really good general illumination under my Jeep. So I use these for illuminating this space here uh, on the sides. These ones I also have tied into when my interior lights are on, I unlock my Jeep. They are courtesy lights or puddle lights. And so this provides me with nice lighting if I'm getting in the Jeep in a parking lot. Uh, but they also provide really good lighting when I'm off-roading and cast a nice array of light out to the sides. The OEM lights built into the taillights don't provide very good lighting coverage and most of the light is cast directly behind the Jeep which I can't really see anything anyways because of my tire carrier. So I have mounted a couple more cyclones here onto the side of my Poison Spider tire carrier and these are shooting out on a 45 degree angle almost rearward behind me 
And these also activate when I put my Jeep into reverse. You can see the Cyclones mounted on the sliders and you can see the Cyclones mounted here on the tire carrier. So both of these are gonna come on when my Jeep goes into reverse. This provides a really good illumination along the side where my tires are and it provides really good illumination to the back quarter where I'm heading. So in conjunction with my backup camera, which I have mounted right here below my Rotopacks, I can see really well behind me and I can see where my Jeep's sides are because the Jeep is wider uh, with the tires and fenders sticking out quite a bit. It's really nice to be able to illuminate off to your sides a little bit. Both of these are bolted on. The ones on the sliders are bolted onto an L bracket and I just bolted on to one of the bolts that are part of the Evo install. And these ones here, I drilled a small hole behind the light. So the wire goes through this steel plate and then it's bolted on and the wire comes down the back and into this harness here that I've built that runs into my Jeep, which has my camera on it. It has the uh, third brake light as well as the illumination for the license plate. And then it's powering the cyclone here. And I have a cyclone, obviously corresponding on the other side. So all of the cyclones that I showed you along my passenger side, I have the same ones installed on the driver's side, giving me equal illumination on both sides. You can see it is right here, bolted to the bed pan of my Jeep. This one just provides me some nice lighting under the rear of the Jeep. Uh, this one is also tied into the door circuit, so if the interior lights are on either from unlocking or opening a door or opening the tailgate, this light will come on. So this is a bit of a courtesy light, but it also provides a bit of rear illumination. Uh, it doesn't help me so much off-roading, but if somebody is watching me, spotting me, they have some good illumination of what's behind me. Uh, this mostly though is nice just to have when you open your tailgate at night and then you have some nice uh, courtesy lights underneath the rear of the Jeep. So here is another cyclone that I've mounted inside of my security deck. So I have a Tuffy security deck that keeps my contents of my Jeep secure, but I found this was getting really dark inside. You can't see any of your tools or equipment or any of the gauges on my compressors and air tank. So what I've done is added one here to the interior light circuit. And just like the ones on the front, this one is mounted to a magnet. And that way when I remove my Tuffity security deck, that one can just pop right off. The wires are held on by magnets that they're zip tied to. So that whole lead can come off and I can just put it off to the side if I ever remove this deck here. So that one provides really nice illumination inside of my cargo area, which I found especially at night, but even during the day, it gets really dark in there and I couldn't see my tools and kit. So I wanted to add one into that space. And that'll go off when I close my tailgate. So the last ones that I'm gonna show you are ones that I've mounted underneath my hood. These are great for working on your Jeep at night. I've just taken a metal strip and bolted them on. So the way this is mounted is using one of those powerful magnets here that just holds it on. And then I've loomed up the wire, the wire I've used high quality marine grade wire that is rated for very high temperatures so that it doesn't melt. This is a bit of a warm spot to have wiring and lights as it is directly above the motor. This is a good place to mount them if you want to have lots of illumination. If you're working on your Jeep and it's dark out, it's actually really good if you're just not in a very well lit area as well. So this is the last use that I have for the Cyclones. I want to show you guys the switches that I have set up. 
some of my lights are set to automatically come on, but I want it to be able to manually control them as well. So these switches are three position switches. They have a on, off, and on position. They can accept a source from two different feeds. So the top position I use as a automatic. This is fed through different existing circuits from the Jeep to power these lights. This is going to be my rear tire carrier, my sliders facing in reverse, underneath of my rock sliders, the front fenders, and the engine bay. So these ones here aren't automatically controlled, but the reverse lights when in the top position will come on automatically when I put my Jeep into reverse. But if I switch them to the lower position, they will be constantly on. If I put them into the middle position, they are deactivated. So with these ones here, these are in my rock sliders in the up position. They will activate the rock slider lighting when my Jeep is unlocked anytime the interior lights are on, or I can manually turn them on by putting it into the lower position. These here are only active in the lower position. I leave them up just because I like to have everything the same, but they do the same if they're off. And in the lower position, this will turn on the front fender lighting as well as in front of the front bumper. And these ones here in the on position will turn on the engine bay lights. Kind of a neat way to do your lighting by having switches that allow you to use them and be activated through another source or you can manually turn them on. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by and watching today's video. I hope that it has been informative and helpful to you. If you want to know more about my build or have more questions about my Cyclone lighting setup, leave a question below. I will answer every single question that you guys post. I'm also looking for new video ideas. So if you have a suggestion or want to know something else about my Jeep, leave me a comment and I will do a video about it. I upload every Monday, so make sure you don't miss any of my new videos. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. That way you will see every time my uploads go live. And don't forget to check me out over on Instagram, at Casey underscore 250. I will see you guys later.